15 Things You Didn't Know About Citroën. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some unknown facts about Citroën, a French car company with nearly 100 years of history in automobile manufacturing. Like several other automobile brands, Citroën started as a weapons manufacturer in World War I, but had to switch business models to stay viable after the war. Andre Citroën decided to delve into automobile manufacturing, and in 1919, the first Citroën vehicle, the Type A, was produced, and 10,000 vehicles were sold in the first year. The brand started building a reputation for innovation with their 1934 Traction Avant, followed by the 2CV and the DS. In the early 50s, Citroën was owned by Michelin, and they combined with Maserati in 1968. Also in 1968, Michelin sold a 49% stake of Citroën to Fiat. However, in 1973, Fiat sold its stake back to Michelin. In 1974, Michelin transferred control of the business to Peugeot, and PSA Peugeot Citroën was formed. Since then, Citroën has been expanding globally, except in North America, and the current models include the C3, C4, Cactus, Grand C4 Picasso II, Nemo, C5, and Jumper. Although this brand has had major ups and downs in the course of their history, we are inspired by their creativity, longevity, innovative nature, and resilience. So let's dig a little deeper with these 15 things you didn't know about Citroën. Number 1. The Traction Avant Revolutionized the Auto Industry The Citroën Traction Avant revolutionized the automotive industry and gave Citroën the reputation of being innovative, forward-thinking, and distinctive. The Traction Avant was introduced in 1934 as the first mass-produced front-wheel drive car, and it was also one of the first to feature a unitary type body, with no chassis holding the mechanical components. It was also the first to have a four-wheel independent suspension. All of these technological advancements are still in use today. About 760,000 units were produced from 1934 to 1957. Number 2. Citroën was nearly bought by General Motors. In 1919, near the beginning of Citroën's venture into the automobile manufacturing industry, Andre Citroën negotiated with General Motors about the potential sale of the Citroën company. The deal nearly closed, but General Motors backed out due to fears that its management and capital would be stretched too thin by the takeover. Number 3. Citroën used the Eiffel Tower as a billboard. From 1925 to 1934, the Eiffel Tower served as a billboard for Citroën. Andre Citroën arranged the marketing opportunity, and it was recorded in the Guinness World Records as the world's largest advertising sign of the time. Citroën was spelled out with 250,000 light bulbs, which were brightly lit each night. Charles Lindbergh said he used the sign to guide him as he came in to land after flying across the Atlantic. The bulbs were taken down after Citroën declared bankruptcy in 1934. Number 4. A Citroën 5CV was the first car to drive completely around Australia. In 1925, a Citroën 5CV Type C torpedo became the first car to be driven around the entire border of Australia. The 1923 model was driven by Neville Westwood from Perth, Australia, and the trip took from August to December. The Citroën 5CV is now fully restored and is on display at the National Museum of Australia. Number 5. The Citroën 2CV was a bestseller for over 50 years. Citroën introduced the 2CV in 1948 as an alternative mode of transport to the horse for rural French people. The car became a bestseller largely because it was so inexpensive to buy and run. It remained in production with only minor changes for over 50 years until 1990. In that span of time, a total of 8.8 .8 million 2CVs were sold. Number 6. The GT by Citroën costs $2.1 million. The GT by Citroën started out as a concept car that was designed and produced for the video game Gran Turismo 5. 
Citroën then partnered up with Polyphony Digital, the racing simulator company responsible for Gran Turismo 5, to bring the car to life. The GT was introduced at the 2008 Paris Motor Show, and plans were made for a very limited production of six cars, with a price tag of $2.1 million each. Number 7. Citroën went bankrupt twice. In 1934, Citroën filed for bankruptcy and their largest creditor, Michelin, became its principal shareholder. Together, they were able to build the company back up again, but 40 years later, in 1974, Citroën went bankrupt once again with an unstable ownership situation with Michelin, who wanted to end their involvement with the car manufacturing business, combined with the effect of the 1973 energy crisis. They were forced to sell Maserati, and Michelin agreed to transfer the business to Peugeot. Number 8. Citroën cars were deemed illegal in the U.S. The main export market for the 1970 Citroën SM was the United States, where the market for personal luxury cars was much larger than in Europe at the time. The SM won the Motor Trend Magazine Car of the Year Award in 1972, which was unheard of for a non-American vehicle at that time. However, Citroën made changes to comply with U.S. regulations. Their six headlight setup was illegal, and so were the separate glass windshields of the headlights, so these were changed for the U.S. market. However, Citroën did not receive the exemption they were expecting for their bumper height. The variable height suspension of the SM made it impossible to comply with the strict regulations, so Citroën pulled out of the U.S. market and their vehicles have not been exported to the U.S. ever since. Number 9. Citroën has more China-only cars than any other brand. The Chinese auto market has been one of the biggest components of the Citroën brand since the early 1990s. This has placed Citroën in an excellent position in one of the most desirable car markets in the world. They have eight car models that are only sold in China, which is more than any other brand. These cars include the C-Elise, C4L, C3XR, and the c Quattro. Number 10. The Citroën DS took third in the Car of the Century competition. The Citroën DS, also known as the Goddess, placed third in the 1999 Car of the Century competition. It only trailed the first place winner, the Model T Ford, and the second place winner, the Mini. If you want to find out more interesting facts about the Mini, click in the upper right hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Mini. Number 11. Citroën helped set a world record for most live concerts in 12 hours. Citroën helped British singer Foxes set a world record for most live concerts in 12 hours in multiple cities back in 2015. The singer sang in seven different cities in the southeast of England in 12 hours, using a special Citroën C1 as the vehicle to transport her to each venue. All traffic laws had to be carefully observed, because even the slightest infraction such as speeding would have invalidated the record attempt. All revenue from the concerts was donated to help young people with cancer, and the Citroën was also donated to the charity and subsequently auctioned off. Number 12. The Citroën DS saved the life of French President Charles de Gaulle. One of the key features of the original Citroën DS was the hydropneumatic suspension that allows the car to adjust its firmness and ride height automatically depending on the load weight and the type of the road the car is on. This allows the car to remain level at all times. When French President Charles de Gaulle granted independence to Algeria in 1962, a paramilitary group called the OAS was so angered they decided to assassinate him. While he and his wife were riding in their Citroën DS, 12 men opened fire on the car, killing two motorcycle bodyguards, shattering the car's rear window and deflating all four tires. However, the suspension system allowed the car to remain level and the president's driver was able to get away. From that point on, de Gaulle refused to travel in any vehicle other than a Citroën. Number 13. Top car designers voted the Citroën DS as the most beautiful car of all time. In 2009, Classic and Sports Car Magazine polled a jury of the world's leading car designers to nominate the most beautiful cars of all time, and the results were surprising. Car designers such as Giorgetto Giugiara, who designed the Maserati Bora, VW Golf, Fiat Panda, and Lotus Esprit, listed their top three choices. Ultimately, the car with the most votes was the Citroën DS. 
The editor of the magazine said, The Citroen is a benchmark design, but we were still astonished that it came out on top when you look at the sexiness of some of its rivals. The cars that came in second and third were the Jaguar XK120 and the Ferrari 275 GTB. Number 14. Picasso's granddaughter took Citroen to court over the Exara Picasso. The Citroen Exara Picasso debuted in 1999, bearing the name of Spanish artist Pablo Picasso, who spent most of his adult life in France. In 1998, Claude Picasso, the artist's son and court-appointed administrator of his estate, sold the Picasso name and signature to PSA Peugeot Citroen, but not everyone in the Picasso family was happy about it. Marina Picasso, Pablo's granddaughter, challenged the deal in court. In one interview, she stated, I cannot tolerate that the name of my grandfather and of my father be used to sell something as banal as a car. Her legal efforts were ultimately unsuccessful, and Citroën continues to use the Picasso name, most recently for the Citroën C4 Picasso. Number 15. 12,000 Citroën DS units were sold in a single day upon its release. The Citroën DS was so impressive when it was first introduced at the 1955 Paris Motor Show that 12,000 units were sold in the form of pre-orders in a single day, and almost 80,000 were sold by the end of the show. In the entire production run of the DS, from 1955 to 1976, a total of 1,455,746 Citroën DS models were sold. Now that you've learned more about Citroën, what do you think they can do to improve their business in this competitive industry? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. French President Emmanuel Macron was driven to his inauguration in the first ever Citroën DS7 hatchback. The car was custom designed with an opening roof so that Macron could wave to the French crowds as he made his way to the inauguration. This was the first time the DS7 was seen on the road, and it won't be available to the public until January 2018. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.